at their Perry Bar base in Birmingham. They're on a special operation targeting white vans. Hello, mate, how are you? Right, fine, so you're on a lucky day today. Uh, basically, we're doing an operation uh, looking at all type uh, transit vans and making sure they're roadworthy, making sure they're not running on illegal fuel, sure. making sure drivers are all legitimate. Contrary to popular belief, we don't have it in for white vans. Um, people seem to think we do. Um, but what we found is that a lot of things come to light from these white vans, simply because the, the, the volume of them and what they do. The cops have joined forces with two other organisations, Customs and Excise and VOSA. The chaps from VOSA, Vehicle Operator Service yeah. Agency, is going to just no check problem. make sure the vehicle's roadworthy. It's estimated that there are over two and a half million white vans in Britain. The motorway cops are finding that many of them shouldn't be on the road, but still there are drivers taking the chance that they won't get caught. Have you licensed with you at all, sir? Well, actually, I was a disqualified driver four years ago. Four years ago. But I haven't applied back for my licence yet. OK, mate, you heard the man. Get your lights sorted. I'll say you weren't expecting that. What? No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, mate. Cheers for your time. Some vans are fine, but not everyone's being allowed to go. I'm going to seize the vehicle because I can't let you drive it any further. OK? The check site's right next to the M6. Very handy for the cops to shepherd likely-looking vans. And PCs Dave Gaunt and Kevin Whitehouse have spotted one. Not only has the van seen better days, they think it's overloaded. We can tell that simply by looking at the way the vehicle's uh, lying on the road. Um, we'll have a look at the springs, for a, we'll pull alongside it and have a look at the springs, see how they are. So the driver and the van are getting a thorough going over back at the site. Although their initial concern was the weight of the load, the customs officer has found another problem. Hello, sir. Have you got no paperwork for this whatsoever? No, no. Nothing? No. No receipt from when you bought it? No, sir. No. You just bought it? No, no, I bought it. The in problem Sunday. is inside 600 bottles of alcohol. Two pallets, two pallets of vodka. Um, so, what the guys from Revenue and Customs are going to do is speak to the driver, um, see if he can. Um, account for where, he, where he's had it from, um, uh, produce receipts, just to make sure he's, all the duty's been paid, etc., uh, and is legitimately in uh, possession of it. If he's bought the vodka from a genuine supplier, he should have the correct documents, or at least some documents with him. You've got no paperwork. No. Paperwork is crucial. You have to prove to us it's due, yeah. Do you duty paid. Drops? Drops, drops yeah. yeah. For every one and a half litre bottle of legal vodka sold, the government takes over £16 in tax and excise duty. But alcohol is also illegally produced on an industrial scale by criminal gangs. It's then passed off as genuine without any duty being paid. And it's estimated that the government loses £1 billion a year as a result. How much do you pay for this? Uh, I think £1,300. You've got no paperwork for it. I mean, you're talking potentially thousands and thousands of pounds of stock there that he couldn't account for. And, you know, he, when spoken to, he said he bought it from a market, from a chap off the back of a lorry in a field. The label suggests it's a legitimate brand, but a closer inspection increases their suspicion that it's fake vodka made to look genuine. The bottles look cloudy. It's, it's, it shouldn't be fizzing like that. So look at the inside of the bottle. It, just, it looks dirty, doesn't it? It looks... It's not a it sterile should, bottle, is no. it? They, that's no. on the inside. Simply by looking at it, it looked cloudy and, and it starts ringing bells thinking normal vodka's not cloudy or not the vodka that I've ever had in the past, not that I drink much vodka, but... Um, and then you start to think, well, if it's not clear it's not vodka, what else is it? While they try to find out if it definitely is fake, the white van man is grounded. At the Motorway Cops Perry Bar base, the operation targeting dodgy white vans is still going on. PCs Kevin Whitehouse, Dave Gaunt and customs officers are continuing to examine the vodka they suspect is fake. Can we crack one of those bottles and smell it? Not something they normally do while on duty. <laughs> it smells sort of like vodka, but... It smelt of spirits. The overall look of it and the smell of it 
thought there's something not quite right here. The smell of anything, does it? No, I don't drink it. Well, I mean, vodka does it. It smells more like Bacardi to me, if anything. Vodka shouldn't smell much, should it? The label on the bottle says that duty has been paid. But the customs man is not convinced and is getting specialist help from HQ. Okay, then. Speak to you later. Bye. <laughs> with with like... the sticker, what they're yes. saying to me, that's this sticker here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. Oh. It's not a sticker on top of it. Do you know what I mean? Like that we've it's part of it. On top. It looks like it's part of the label, yeah. as if to try and make it look legitimate. They can't be a hundred percent sure if the vodka is fake without a proper test, but they are certain the label is forged, meaning that excise duty has never been paid. Hey, cash, no receipts. Nah, in the market. That's it. In the market. It's bad news for the white van man. Are they okay? No. <laughs> right. What I've been advised to do. Yes, sir. I'm going to detain the van and the alcohol. Is it real? Is it real? You tell us. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you just added £1,300 over for it and you don't know. <laughs> there may be doubts about the vodka, but the cops have discovered something about the driver. It's got um, previous in 2002 for offering goods uh, under the counterfeit stroke. What? Sorry, what was that? The customs office is on the phone, totting up the amount of duty payable if the vodka had been legitimate. Thanks very much. OK, bye. Apparently it's £8,000. In duty. Duty. The duty on it? £8,032.50. £8, He's paid just £1,300 for the lot. How much would you have got a bottle? Uh, a bottle of tenner. How many bottles was it? 600 bottles. So you'd have made five grand profit? Four, four thousand seven hundred profit? Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Would have had a good Christmas. You would have had a good Christmas. You'd have killed someone like that. She <laughs> 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 was. Didn't bat an eyelid the fact that we'd seized the product off him. So he must have plenty of things, other things on the go as well. You don't seem that fussed, I'll be honest. Well, you know, things come and go, you know, you have to take it easy. He's philosophical. It seems you win some and you lose some. One minute he's driving along the M6, probably thinking about the amount of money he was going to make out of it. Um, the next minute he's in our yard. We're crawling over the van and HM Revenue and Customs decide that's ours now. It is. No further action was taken against the driver who had 600 bottles of illicit vodka in the back of his transit, but his van and the vodka were seized and destroyed by customs officers.